Hi, this is Jen Wycliffe, and we're back for another segment. This one on energy drinks. And before I draw the line in the sand for where a sports drink and an energy drink are different, let me first mention my YouTube channel, which is Essential Nutrition Tips, all one word, and then my website at essentialnutrition.co. So, energy drinks. Well, these this stimulant that I make reference to, largely where energy drinks are concerned, is caffeine. And we know that these energy drinks are full of caffeine, sometimes as much as 500 milligrams in one can. So the American Academy of Pediatrics does not advise these drinks for children and or teens. But what's interesting is that these are the, this appears to be the exact age group that the drinks are marketed to. Who is this guy? This is definitely the, the Incredible Hulk. I even recognize him. And uh, look, he's holding a monster energy drink. And it's my bet that eight-year-old and 10-year-old boys could easily recognize this character when in fact, the companies are um, absolutely sure that they're only marketing to the 18 to 35-year-old set. Well, what, where do we classify caffeine? What's interesting is that caffeine dating back to the 1980s was designated a flavor enhancer in soda in order not to be regulated or heavily regulated, we should say. So what does that mean? Well, it means that there's not any um, uh, warnings or anything of the sort indicating that it could be problematic in a child. Well, we know that caffeine in a soda probably hovers around, well, it's definitely less than 100 milligrams. It's, you know, it's, it's likely less than, in a 12 ounce can, less than 50 milligrams. And we know that sometimes an energy drink can have 10 times that much. So what's interesting is that this regulation piece for energy drinks was also, they were designated as a food. So again, what that means is that there's no warning, there's no indication to a mother or a parent or someone buying a young child this drink that it has maybe potentially enough caffeine to result in a caffeine overdose. But if you had a product that was a uh, that was designated as a drug, like for example, no dose, where you could get a hundred milligram caffeine pill. Uh, and because it's regulated as a drug, there'll be all sorts of warnings on that product to keep you from giving that to your child. But you could give <laughs> essentially five times more than that in an energy drink if you just handed them um, a large enough drink. So I mentioned to you what the Academy of Pediatrics said. They, they know that children are especially sensitive to caffeine. So to limit their use of it and to limit their chance to get it would be would be great. But again, this marketing piece makes it hard because it looks like, hey, this is a product marketed exactly to me as an eight-year-old boy or girl, I might, I might think, if I recognized the Incredible Hulk, which, like I said, um, he's a pretty recognizable character. So the energy blend is something that these energy drink companies talk e exclusively about. And it's this combination of vitamins and um, sometimes metabolites or things that have been metabolized in your body in combination with caffeine. And you might feel this if you drink this at the three o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm not talking to adults or about adult consumption of these beverages. I'm talking about this in relation to uh, young children, which is, you know, the energy blend for a young child is, is not that product, but instead, you know, a, maybe a more healthy diet and, and an adequate amount of rest and a chance to get outside in play. So what does an alternative look like when your son or daughter wants a monster drink or potentially a, um, uh, a Red Bull or some other type of energy drink? Well, milk is great. These are growing children. They need that for uh, strong bone health. And of course, water, my favorite. And then uh, coconut water I threw in there because that has some electrolyte components. So what's the, what's the takeaway here? Well, remember that caffeine, in fact, just like alcohol, we consider a psychoactive ingredient. And all that really means is that it can affect 
your brain and it affects your heart and it affects your, in some cases, your behavior. And kids are very sensitive to that. And because caffeine is regarded as a diuretic, it means that you will excrete out more than you take in and thereby making potentially making you dehydrated. So that's why the American Association of Pediatrics doesn't like these energy drinks for children or for teens. Thanks for listening.